Um, so it was uh, late junior year. My coach told me that there was a possibility, but I had a lot of work to do. Um, I had seen some scouts and talked to them when they came to our pro day, but it was really just for my coaches. What kind of I'm sorry, what kind of work did he specifically say that you had to do? Um, gaining weight, being becoming more violent in my approach to the game, and uh, just better all, overall production. You've drawn some comparisons to Ziggy Anza this week, you know, a guy who's got a raw athletic coming out in 2013. Just your curiosity. What um, they're, they're cool comparisons, but I can't necessarily compare myself to anybody else. You know, uh, I only pick things from certain people and try to improve it into my own game. Uh, so UTSA is a fairly uh, new football program. David Morgan's the first guy ever drafted from the program. Do you ever still, uh, do you ever stay in contact with him? Yeah, we, we just actually texted the other day. Uh, he can, he gave me congrats on um, coming to the Senior Bowl, and uh, I congratulate him on their big win. What was your growth spurt like? I think you weren't you like 185, 190 coming out of high school, and when did you kind of burst up to where you're at now? I was 198 coming out of high school, and then the highest I've been was 264. So. When did you see that big growth spurt? Was it one year of lifting? Was it something else? Was it just? It was moderate over time, but then um, coming from junior year to the senior year, uh, that's where I experienced my major weight gain. What did you do to precipitate that weight? I've seen stories about you having like midnight snacks, brisket, and things like that. What else did you do besides that? Um, so it was more like seafood, eat food. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anytime I had to think about food, I I actually went and ate. And so I would get like, I'd get one meal for now and one meal for later, and end up eating both of them now. So. <laughs> Marcus, out of curiosity, you didn't compare to Sheldon Rankin's <coughs> son, right? As the next big name to make the jump. Do you think that you separate yourself from them, or do you appreciate the fact that you've actually been compared to someone who's made that jump into that top 32 rank? Um, I love the comparison. You know, I, I have to say I'm blessed to even be here. It, it wasn't that long ago that this wasn't even a thought or a, on my radar. But um, to be able to be compared and to at least be thought of potentially going there, is, it's, it's a huge honor. Do you think you fit a certain defense better than No, um, my school, we were very multiple in our front, so uh, I had to just get accustomed to playing. You know, it's football. Marcus, what is the best attribute you believe you yourself bring, will bring to an NFL team? Um, my work ethic. You know, I feel like I, I love this game and I love what I can do, so I just want to get better and be able to do it better. Marcus, who are your, some of your favorite pass rushers at the next level and you model your game after? So there's like there's like a big three. I try to I try to imitate all of them at one point. Calais Campbell's power, JJ Watt's motor, and Vaughn Miller's speed. Marcus, this week you were ranked as high as number seven in Dan and Jeremiah's mock draft at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Do you feel that you're a top ten player in this draft yet, or is that yet to be proven? Uh, it's yet to be proven. I, I can't necessarily like I like the idea of that. You know, it was real cool seeing it, but um, I haven't done anything yet. You know, I, I know I'm not there, and I'm only improving. So we'll see what happens. Marcus, you named three different players recently as in three different positions. Is there one position you look at more importantly than any other one? Over Defensive end, Von Miller. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just to follow up on that before. What is the one thing you need to work on at the next level to take your game to the next level? Um, big thing I've seen, especially after watching so much film on myself, uh, disengaging, you know, getting off blocks, keeping a lower pad level. Mark, Marcus, what do you say to some scouts that you're too tall? <laughs> Ain't no <laughs> such thing. <laughs> you, yeah. You were. Uh, Recruited by uh, New Mexico, I thought you had a verbal there. What, what, what ultimately led you to, to choose uh, UTSA? Um, UTSA wasn't necessarily my first choice. I don't think I was their first choice either, but uh, <laughs> I went there and met my teammates and fell in love. Like that, I wanted to be a part of that family. Okay. Do you know what was your at all that you weren't UTSA's first choice about that? Um, I had a chip on my shoulder. You know, I, I feel like I always have something to prove. 
but I know I can do it, so I went in there. Marcus, did you, is it true that you took 18 hours this last semester in order to graduate and still put that run together that you did? And if that's true, how were you able to do all that and still produce like you did on the field? Yeah, I took 18 hours. Um, you know, I, I just, my coaches told me that, you know, it would help me in the long run. So I actually had to sit down and grind through it all. No, but you mean the work on the field, everything that it took to get ready and prepare for Saturday, and then bust in 18 hours. I mean, what was your major, too? I mean, how did you, what was your daily grind like trying to manage all that? It was uh, wake up, football, and then right after that, I would get on some homework and watch film, and then go through classes, and then go back through more homework, and then watch film late at night. So you said that you had to prove yourself all throughout college. Did you get to prove yourself this week? And if so, what did you have to prove yourself about? Um, yes, I have to prove myself, but I also have to prove a lot more that, you know, I didn't necessarily come from a small school and that my competition was legit. You know, it's football, you know, any given Sunday. You know, so I, you're a small school, do you think that maybe that might hold you back to where you can get drafted out of the spot you think you do deserve to be drafted? I find that question funny. You know, there was a point where I didn't even think I deserved to be drafted, and honestly, I, I don't care where they draft me. I just want to play. Marcus, I know you want to show uh, what you can do as a pass rusher, but where's your comfort level dropping into coverage, and how much of your time is going to be dedicated on that aspect? Well, uh, my last year, we grew, we grew a lot, so we had to drop, and we worked on that a bit. Luckily, they decided that it was best for me to rush instead of dropping. But, you know, I'm not against it. I actually, I like the idea. Earlier you said that your coaches wanted you to become more violent. Have you reached the level of violence that, that they demanded and you want to see in the game? <laughs> yeah. So I, I like to believe that I'm violent, especially with my hands. And, um, you know, they've, um, I feel like I've made them proud in my approach. But I, I feel like there's, there's still another level I can take it to. What impression do you want to leave with the NFL executives and coaches that you're going to meet face to face and actually have conversations with them this week? Hmm. That guy's interesting. That's the best way I can put it. He's interesting. <laughs> uh, you come from, uh, again, a small school, not a big conference, but you had an opportunity to play against a lot of Power Five schools Texas AM, Kansas State, Arizona, Baylor. Do you think those games, those, those films that you can put out there, is going to help your, your cause when it comes to scouts and coaches evaluating your team? Hmm. I've thought of it, and uh, I've heard people say that it does. But honestly, I, I don't care. You can put on almost all my film, and I go hard. You know, there's not really a drop off in production. Did you start your high school career as a wide receiver? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. So that's not a myth either. No, it's not a myth. <laughs> and you had you had hurdles. Okay, that was like middle school, but. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus, growing up in San Antonio and actually staying in San Antonio, what would it mean for you to be one of the biggest draft picks that ever came out of San Antonio? Just for the city and just for also people maybe looking at teams, looking at possibly relocating to San Antonio. Um, it mean the world to me. San Antonio has really done a lot for me. The, the people there have done a lot for me. I, that's home for me, you know. Um, huh. that's, that's really a tough one. I have love for so many different teams for so many reasons, but uh, I can't really pick one at this point. Last one. You still have good hands in your days as a wide receiver? Hey, I got the best, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.